So I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little bit distraught. And I'm definitely sad. Did you know that Onision has a TikTok account? I didn't know till like yesterday. Why did nobody tell me? Now for those of you that don't know and are brand new to this YouTube channel, about a year ago, I made a video on Onision in my world famous series called The Cringe Zone. You should definitely go check it out after this video. Some of my best work. And in that video, what I did was I took a couple clips and a couple videos off of his YouTube channel that are free and I reviewed them in my own little funny comedic way, which puts me under fair use, which is allowed on YouTube, which would just mean that I am the one that should be getting paid off of that video because I'm the one that put it all together. I created a transformative experience, which is what fair use is all about. And I also poked a lot of fun at Onision, and I'm assuming Onision doesn't like to be poked fun at because he's the he's so smart and he's so he's so honest all, all the time, right? So Onision figured when he finally saw my video that the proper course of action would be to falsely copyright claim my video and claim that the video is his own. And because he did that, he sent me on a manic rage because he had the opportunity to do the right thing and he decided to not do the right thing. And I kind of don't like to be pushed around. So at the time, the video got about 5,000 views, which is $7. So Onision owes me $7, which he never paid me. It's been a whole year. The man couldn't even give me $7 this whole time. It's not like he doesn't know that I exist because he mentioned me in a couple podcasts. He said one time, oh, there's a guy that's making a big deal out of $30. I'm not making a big deal out of $30, my guy. I'm making a big deal that you falsely abuse the copyright system. I'm just using this $30 as a marketing ploy to make sure everybody knows that you are a piece of I am a lot smarter than you, Onision. Because he sent me on this manic rage of him abusing the copyright system and because that's not really something that you do here on YouTube, all right? I took it personal. I took it to my heart, you know, because he, he claims that he's one of the YouTube OGs. He reviews other people's videos, puts his own little two cents in other people's clips. So it's not like fair use is something that Onision is very new to. No. He just decided to copyright claim the video because he just copyright claims everybody that uses some of his clips. So there's a high chance that he's gonna copyright claim this video as well. Aaron, because I will go into another manic spree and make even more money off of you, my guy. So let's start exploring Onision's TikTok. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is do the scroll test. The scroll test is when you scroll down really quickly and see how much work these people have been putting in. And as you can see, Onision has been putting a lot of work creating videos for a platform that is known to pretty much just only have children on it. And I don't know about you, I don't feel comfortable leaving children around this man. <laughs> We're off to an amazing start. Why would you even waste your time to do that? Why would you set up the green screen? Why would you set up the audio? What was the point of any of that? That was not cringe. That was just bad. I just want to thank all the meat eaters out there for being so respectful to animal lives. I'm sure it was an honor for them to be turned into your shit. Again, that joke, I give it a three out of 10. That was not funny. And I feel like it wasn't funny because you're not a real vegan or vegetarian, whatever you say you are. In case you didn't know, in case you did not know, Onision is a vegetarian slash vegan. I'm not sure which, which one it is, but it's not because he cares about animals that he's that way. No, no, no. Onision is only a vegan because it makes him look like a better person and he gets to one-up you, okay? It makes it seem like he's a better person than you. That's why he's a vegan, not because he really cares about animal rights. And personally, my whole take on veganism is that I feel like the vegans are all right, but why would God make filet mignon so delicious, okay? I'm still gonna go and spend 30 bucks at Longhorn and eat my filet mignon, which actually I cannot do because I only have $23 and somebody happens to owe me seven. But here's how I'm able to sleep at night, knowing that I'm murdering animals. Everything on this planet eventually turns into compost and goes right back into the earth. So those vegetables that you're eating right now, they might have been dinosaur particles 10 million years ago. Does in theory making veganism impossible. Actually, I don't even know if it really works like that. I'm just some dude in a the room. There's also that option to put your hands behind your head and step away from the donut, you fatty. That one was even worse. That's a two out of 10. Are you even trying to be funny, bro? Saying a joke just to be rude. I feel like you, you just have a lot of anger towards fat people and you figure that if you just say a joke, lining up with your insult is gonna make it okay. Your delivery is garbage. That was just insulting and rude. And I'm gonna need you to put your hands behind your head and hand me over $7. Now from the top, make it drop, that's the way and the shit. Now get a bucky in a mop, that's the way and the shit. I'm talking wop, wop, wop. 
I want to call the police so bad. Like, I'm having a Kara moment right now. Onision should be arrested just for making that TikTok right there. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to McFly Timo Swift Scout. Happy birthday to you. Yay. We did it. That's how people sing happy birthday to people that have never sang happy birthday to them. They're angry at the world and they feel like you don't deserve it. I have a strong feeling the person that he's saying this to actually paid him to do that. And just the lack of enthusiasm, the lack of any will to live, the lack of even trying to make that entertaining. Yeah, that's what it is for me. And every year I have an annual pizza party for my birthday. And it's not like I was going to invite you in the first place because you still owe me money, but... Now I'm definitely not gonna invite you to my annual pizza birthday party. Hey, Batman! What? Let's play some Russian roulette. You wanna play for real? No! What am I, crazy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna play or what? Is that a gun? Huh. I don't know, Batman. Does it look like a gun? Yes. And does it sound like a gun? What? In what world would Batman and the Joker even entertain the idea of playing Russian roulette, my guy? Why did you even waste your time filming this? Is this the best that the creative mind of Onision can come up with? Like, my guy, come on. Like, you realize when you make these videos, people are going to watch them. People will have to see this later. And it's not like you don't put any effort into these videos. I mean, you put makeup all over your face and you even put the cut smiles on the Joker. You got dressed, you went through so much detail, and even though you did all of that, you still somehow managed to half-ass this. I mean, maybe it could have been something, but you're taking half-assness to a new level. The half-assness of this video is screaming, yeah, we're trying to be something, but we just can't break through this barrier. I call that the Onision barrier. I am stuck role-playing as a villain in YouTube videos that I didn't even come up with myself. And I think that I'm so creative that I would add that they would entertain the idea of playing Russian roulette. What you need to do, okay, is you need to put the pen and paper down. You need to stop writing scripts. You need to stop writing YouTube videos. You need to just stop doing creative things because you are not able to do it, dude. You are trying and trying and trying, and it is just not working. Oh my god, how could you say that, Brian? Like, do you really think I'm, like, do I look stupid to you? Yes. Hilarious? Not. And you know what? Maybe maybe you just don't have enough protein going to your brain to realize how unfunny this is. I literally feel like you stayed up late nights watching Ray William Johnson and you just mimicked his comedy style because this is the type of stuff that he would have in his videos. Or maybe you're still at I'm a banana. Like the whole world has moved on, but you're still at I'm a banana. Either way, your life is a nightmare and I don't want to live it. Oh my god, Onision, I love those videos where you tell people if they're fat or skinny or ugly. You should make a lot more of those. Oh yeah, like, you guys keep demanding I make those over and over and over again on my adults-only forum, and so I keep making them. <laughs> oh my god, Onision, you're a disgusting monster! How could you rate those people? Oh, you don't... you don't... Oh, okay, okay. It's all me. Uh... No, that's not what happened. I was actually making YouTube videos during that time, and I remember that popping up on my recommended, and I had a moral dilemma with myself. I remember talking about it with other people. That's not what you did, dude. All jokes aside, you were literally reviewing underage girls' bodies, and I'm gonna say that again. You were looking at pictures of girls in bikinis that were underage and telling them if they're disformed or not, and if they should lose five pounds or gain five pounds. And what's really disgusting about it is that it's not like you were like 18 years old when you were doing it. It's not like you were even 21. Let's even push the limits. You know, let's say you were 23, 24. You were over 25 years old, probably in your late 20s, approaching 30. So cut me the bullcrap that you didn't know any better. And maybe legally you protected yourself with that no nudity disclaimer. But let's, let's step it back a little bit, right? Let's step it back a little bit. You still asked underage girls to send you pictures to an email where you could review their bodies. That is so creepy. And I feel like I'm arguing with like a 16 year old right now because like, why do I even have to explain this to you? You're in your late thirties by now. So it's like, I don't have to explain this to you, dude. It's, it's mind boggling. It is absolutely mind boggling how dumb you are. <laughs> you ever sit and think like, 
No, these were adults who sent me those pictures. I'm an adult only forum. What adult, bro? What adult, bro, has the time to take a picture of themselves in a bikini and send it to you, dude? You're a loser who made a song about a banana. No adult with three children, responsibilities, a job, and a career thinks about you, bro. You're not important. You were never really famous. And you made one song about a banana, and you somehow took that, right, right, bro? You somehow took that. And started reviewing underage girls' bodies. You're a you're a creepy guy. You, you're you're very creepy. And I don't know why nobody ever brings this up like the way that I'm bringing it up. Like Onision is not an 18 year old boy when he did this. He was way above 25 by then. So Onision's brain is fully done developing, guys. There's no excuses there. We can't play no ageism here. And like, all you have to do is pay me my seven dollars, and I'll be out of your hair. But until you do that, my dude, I'm going to just keep pointing the finger at look at how creepy all this stuff is. And if $7 is too much, are you still married to your husband? Because you guys could just both give me three fifty dollars each because you guys are kind of both creepy. If $7 is too much for one person, that is, you, you know? All right. Well, um, I had a little bit too much fun there. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. The harder you smash that like button, the higher the chance of this video popping up and other people's recommended, and the higher the chance of other people finding out that Onision stole $7 from me. And also, if you want a $5 Starbucks gift card, I give away a $5 Starbucks gift card at the end of all of my videos. All you have to do is leave a funny comment in the comment section below, and I'll choose a random winner that way it's it's a little kickback that i give to people that make it all the way to the end of my videos because you guys help out the most out of all the other metrics on youtube so if you watch the video from its entirety it's just a little way for me to give back so go ahead leave a comment down below plus it feels really good to leave comments on youtube give yourself the dopamine rush okay leave a comment down below now and lastly before i finally go if you enjoyed me giving it to Onision in this video, I have maybe about three, five, eight, a lot, okay? I have I have a lot of other Onision videos on this YouTube channel, and you should go and check them all out. All right, love you. I'll see you in the next video.